Ever wondered how they made things last back in the day? I'm not talking about just a few years, but for decades. Today, we're diving deep into a nearly forgotten piece of history. A secret formula from World War II that made ordinary canvas tarps practically indestructible and waterproof forever. Stick around, because this story is a fascinating blend of history, science, and good old-fashioned ingenuity. It all starts in the thick of World War II. The military needed everything to be tough, reliable, and able to withstand the harshest conditions imaginable. From tents to truck covers to gear bags, canvas was everywhere. But raw canvas has a major weakness, water. A wet tent or a leaky truck cover wasn't just an inconvenience. It could mean the difference between success and failure, or even life and death. The military's standard-issue waterproofing at the time was okay, but not great. It often involved heavy, smelly treatments that would wear off, crack in the cold, or become sticky in the heat. They needed something better, something that would fuse with the fabric and become a permanent part of it. The call went out for a new solution, and the race was on to create the ultimate waterproofing compound. Enter the chemists and inventors of the era. They began experimenting with all sorts of materials. Waxes were a natural starting point. Beeswax had been used for centuries to waterproof everything from sailing cloth to leather boots. But beeswax alone wasn't enough. It was a bit too soft and had a low melting point. They needed to create a blend, a special recipe that would be tough, flexible, and permanent. This is where the secret formula part of our story really begins. While the exact top-secret military-grade recipe is still debated by historians and collectors, through research and declassified documents, we've pieced together the core components. The magic wasn't in one single ingredient, but in the specific combination of several types of waxes and oils. The primary ingredient was often paraffin wax, a byproduct of petroleum. It's cheap, highly water-resistant, and readily available. But pure paraffin can be brittle. To counteract this, they blended it with microcrystalline wax. Think of microcrystalline wax as paraffin's tougher, more flexible cousin. It has a more complex molecular structure, which prevents it from cracking and makes the final coating much more durable. But that's not all. To create a truly legendary formula, they needed one more key element, natural oils and resins. Ingredients like linseed oil, tongue oil, and even pine resin were mixed into the hot wax. These weren't just fillers. These oils would penetrate deep into the cotton fibers of the canvas before the wax solidified. Once cured, they would polymerize. Basically, they would harden and create a plastic-like matrix within the fabric itself. This process not only repelled water from the surface, but also strengthened the canvas from the inside out. So, the process was as important as the ingredients. Large vats would be filled with this special blend of paraffin wax, microcrystalline wax, and oils, all heated to a precise temperature. Huge rolls of canvas were then slowly dipped and saturated in this hot, liquid concoction. They couldn't just dunk it. The fabric had to be fully immersed for a specific amount of time to ensure every single fiber was coated and saturated. After emerging from the hot wax bath, the canvas would be passed through heavy rollers. This was a crucial step. The rollers squeezed out any excess wax, ensuring a thin, even coating. Too much wax would make the tarp heavy, stiff, and prone to cracking. Too little and it wouldn't be fully waterproof. It was a delicate balancing act, perfected through trial and error. The result was something the world had never seen before. This wasn't just a surface treatment. The wax and oils had become an integral part of the fabric. The new material, often called waxed canvas, was incredibly tough. It was waterproof, windproof, and highly resistant to abrasion and tearing. Soldiers in the field reported that their waxed canvas gear could withstand years of abuse in the jungles of the Pacific and the frozen forests of Europe, Tents stayed dry in torrential downpours, and supplies transported under waxed canvas covers arrived clean and protected. After the war, this technology didn't just disappear. 
the surplus market was flooded with this amazing material. Farmers, tradesmen, and outdoorsmen quickly discovered the incredible durability of waxed canvas. It became the go-to material for everything from tool bags to rugged outdoor jackets. The formula was so effective that many of these original Dopu Du Wi era tarps and bags are still around today, some of them still waterproof after more than 70 years. Can you imagine a modern product lasting that long? This legacy inspired a whole new generation of manufacturers. Companies like Filson and Barber built their entire reputations on creating high-quality waxed canvas and cotton goods for sportsmen and workers. They adapted and refined the original concept, creating their own signature wax blends. The core principle, however, remained the same. Infuse natural fabrics with a blend of waxes and oils to create something that s both beautiful and unbelievably durable. So, what's so special about this old-school technology in our modern age of high-tech synthetic fabrics? Well, waxed canvas has a character that materials like nylon or Gore-Tex just can't match. As it ages, it develops a unique patina. Every scuff, crease, and fold tells a story, much like a favorite pair of leather boots. It's a material that gets better with time, not worse. Plus, it's repairable and can be maintained. Unlike a synthetic jacket where a tear often means the end of its life, you can patch waxed canvas, and if the waterproofing ever starts to diminish after years of heavy use, you can simply re-wax it yourself. You just warm up a tin of reproofing wax and apply it to the fabric. This brings it right back to its original condition, ready for another decade of service. It's a sustainable, long-lasting approach to gear that feels more relevant than ever in our throwaway culture. The secret W2 formula was a product of necessity. It was born from a need for gear that would not fail under the most extreme pressure. It wasn't about fashion or trends. It was about pure, unadulterated performance and longevity. And in doing so, they created a timeless material that has outlasted countless technological fads. It's a powerful reminder that sometimes the old ways are the best ways. The combination of natural cotton, paraffin wax, microcrystalline wax, and natural oils created a synergy that modern science has struggled to replicate in a way that s as soulful and sustainable. It's a piece of living history you can still find and use today a testament to the ingenuity of a generation that built things to last forever. So, next time you see a rugged old canvas bag or a classic field jacket, take a closer look. You might be looking at a direct descendant of a secret formula that helped win a war and created a legacy of durability that continues to this day. It's more than just a waterproof fabric. It's a story woven into every thread. Thanks so much for joining me on this deep dive into history and material science. I hope you found it as fascinating as I do. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next adventure into the stories behind the stuff we use every day. Until next time, stay curious.